all right y'all i'm back with another video tune in man you already know how we do it every tuesday so sit back get your popcorn get it ready because it's about to go down you understand it's about to go down In the evening on March 31st, 2022, a desk officer in Milwaukee is about to make a disturbing discovery. It's always pumping something going on in Milwaukee, man. Yeah, I shot my girl today and I have to go. Whoa! What, you got an idea on you? Where, where happened that? Where's the last name? Me. MIT. First name? Phillips. Believing that the man has come in to confess to an already reported crime, the officer begins looking up his information in their database. What address was you Were you supposed to turn yourself in here or one of the jails? How's the right? Oh. What, what do you turn? I mean, okay, so. He just, he popped this girl a day ago. He popped his girl a day ago. And he's deciding to turn himself in, which is the right thing to do. It's the right thing to do. Most people wouldn't have did nothing or they would have fled the state, right? He decided to turn himself in. So let's see what's going on. Turning yourself in for Shot my girl. You did what? Shot my girl. I mean, you know, we was horse playing and girl went off and shot her. Okay. How long ago was this? It was a day and a half. A day and a half? I slept with her for a while. You know? Wait, yes. what? Did uh, police come out for that? Or? No, I'm just not coming up here for that. Oh, where is she? She's still there. What? Is she alive? Oh, no. Oh. Whoa. They never did a oh. 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 Oh snap, bruh, bruh. Did uh, police come out for that or? No, I'm just not coming up here for that. Oh, where is she? She's still there. Is she oh, alive? She... No. Oh, okay. Damn. Yeah, like, no. no. Okay. Oh my God. That's, see, that's, that's what I was looking for. I thought that, yeah, that's. Oh, oh good. Uh, turn around for me. Don't come in the front, man. It hurts. <laughs> nah, we gotta do it in the back. Sorry. Yeah, I thought, I guess, that's all I was looking for. Oh. That's all I was looking for. Yeah, we'll put two uh, cuffs on you. Yeah, I got you. I'll get my black one. Yeah, I was looking, I was looking to, to see. I thought you, it was like the previous, like the. Uh, Did she go to the hospital or anything? No, so she's scared of her problem. Where where did uh where did you shoot her at? We were playing at the back home one day. I saw them in the room and she started doing slides and took them basement. She just right there by the sink and right now. You he said she down in the basement you feel me? Okay. Damn, he cold. Why would you take her to the yeah, basement yeah, though? I was down there for about what about seven hours. Yeah. yeah. Bruh. I walked her just I'm knowing my life is gone. I mean, but I mean it, it take a real man to come and, you know, admit what they did, you know. I mean if it's an accident, it's an accident. Only you you her and God know what really happened. I mean, I commend you for that. I want her family to, you know, yeah. her to be messed up. I don't, is the gun still at the house? Oh. Uh, Where the gun at? I drove to, uh, like, off of 15th and then stopped in the dumpster after where I left from her from the house. Okay. I think it started with it somewhere in that lane. I was just... Could you, okay. Wow. Bro, that's, that is crazy. Anybody else know? It's, I'm, hey, I'm still trying to get my man wrapped around the fact that he, he shot her and stayed with her, put her in the basement for, like, seven hours. And this was almost, he said, a day and a half ago, 36 hours ago? Golly. Yeah, she gone, gone. Just you, just you and her? I mean, ain't got to. What's another thing? Yeah. What's another thing? What else happened? 
Yo, what else happened? That's just gonna be my life forever now. Look at the key right here. I got the, okay. What which key is it? Yeah, the the only one on the Okay. Yeah. This one right here? Yeah. I'm back. We have permission for golf. Done. Yeah. At this point, you don't need permission. I don't want you to turn around for it, though. They won't open. I mean, no, at this point, they don't really need you went in there and confessed that you got it. You pretty much committed a murder, and the body's down there. Yeah, they don't really need permission to go in, and they're going to get that warrant quick. Yeah. I feel bad for her. Yeah. They don't know. To be honest with you, that's up to the judge. I mean, as long as you be honest with where everything that went down, I mean, like I said, it's only you, know, you got and her that know what's going on. As long as you be honest and tell them, like, where different stuff at, what occurred, mm -hmm. I mean, that's going to help you out, so. I'm good. Yeah. I was waiting on uh, Weatherby. Yeah, he um he trying to figure some some. Yeah, 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 we good, we good. Uh, Maybe he's dyslexic. Uh, yeah. Uh, nah, he, you know. Uh, <laughs> Maybe he's um, dyslexic. You, know, you could uh, have a seat <laughs> That's crazy though. No, 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 no. Yeah, you, no, no, I'm not. Like, I just want you to be, yeah, I mean, I want you to be comfortable. I ain't, I ain't like that. Like I said, it take, to take a, a real man to do what you, you just did. I mean, I don't do That's true though. Like, a lot of. Yeah. Two in the morning. So, it's, uh, it's Thursday. It happened Tuesday or yesterday. It's Thursday now. Sure. Yesterday or Tuesday? Before. So Tuesday. Yeah. So Wednesday. So technically yesterday morning. Yeah. Two two in the morning yesterday. Okay. Oh, I'm lost. Up here. Yeah, yeah. No, you good? You good? No, no. no I'm just trying to get That's it. That's six. Eighteen hundred. Trying to get it. Hold on. Eighteen hundred two hours minus two. Eighteen hundred two. So that's. No, that's six. Okay, so it's six o two p.m. March thirty first. So okay, sun's still out for a long time. All right. Well, I've shot one of them on the Yeah. And you said where? Where was she shot at? She, she no, no where'd you like, shoot where her? In the head. Oh the head no. Okay. Bruh. Wow. Whoa, that's crazy. I, that's what they was trying to get out of him earlier. That's what they was trying to get out of him earlier. But he he didn't want to say uh, where he shot him. It could have just been shock. But yeah, yeah. Hey, R.I.P. to the victim, yo. R.I.P. to the victim. What kind of gun was it? Three eighty. You know what brand? Yeah, that's why I was back there trying to run your name. I'm like, because, you know, people come in here and turn themselves in all the time. Yeah. I, I just, it's my, my, my bad for misunderstanding. Yeah. Yeah. Is it a single family house? Or is it a family house? I appreciate you not being here. No, 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 no. Hey, hey, regardless of the situation, as long as you cool, I'm going to be cool. I ain't even like that. At the end of the day, we all human. We all make mistakes. Like I said, it take a real man to come here and do that i wish it was a little earlier for you you know but i mean it, you know it, and Trudy, you you still you still came here at the end of the day you could have did so many other things in the bag so uh, we're sending it out this five that's crazy uh, though these are these are candy I'll put it in your pocket. After Ellis seemingly confessed his actions, four officers visited his oh, home. No they Lord. intended to search for his allegedly deceased girlfriend by entering the home with keys Ellis provided himself. Uh oh. Alrighty, man. Uh oh. You got the keys. This way is about to become real crazy. By a sink or something, or maybe in the basement. There's a body. Yeah, do you know what you're saying here? No, no. Oh, no way. No. 
a guy walked in our district saying he shot his girlfriend a couple of days ago and he's been sleeping with her ever since then. But he came in to report that he shot her. So we're right. going to look for a dead body. So it's completely true. I can tell you that right now. It's completely true. I don't know what this one, man. It's uh Okay, this key's not working for whatever. You think that'll work for the back door at all? Uh, I can see. Yeah, we've got limited information, but this is all just like happening right now. Nah. Okay. Uh, find out which door he goes in. Uh, we're having trouble with the locks. There's a side door and a front door, and um, ask him which lock fits the deadbolt or the doorknob that he can locks. The door in the front to the right. You ask him whether it's the devil or the doorknob. Despite their best efforts, officers were unable to open the door and had to resort to alternative methods. They kicking it in. Hey, hey, Alright, we're doing it. Of course. Right. I'm you're, right. the, you're the biggest one. He just want to kick police. some. Milwaukee police! Hang on, we got breaching tools. If you want. Do you? Yeah, hang on. There you go. Never mind. Milwaukee police! The case you are watching now was found by our small journalism team oh, three years ago, on, man. which is why I want to tell you about today's sponsor, Straight We're going to avoid all of this, I think they, this We're going to avoid all of this. I don't like those pop ups. Police! Milwaukee police! It's a basement. It's a Milwaukee police department, not yourself in here. Alright, you got a little decent little, decent little crib in there. Police, we know you're in here. Announce yourself. They know who in there. Ain't nobody in there right. except the dead body. Uh, bathroom over here. All right. Clear. Right now. Milwaukee Police, we know you are in here. Announce yourself. Who's Is in there? To the kitchen. I no, don't clear this. Yeah. Uh, hold on. At least a whole bunch of other rooms. Police. Milwaukee police, we know you're in here. Now I'm on the other side of you. I'm on the other side. You're on the other side of that door? Yeah. All right. I'm coming back out. You said what day? I said I just told him I'm coming back out. So I didn't clear. I think there's another uh, bedroom over there. I just didn't want to get shot by you guys now. Okay. Milwaukee police. It was black in there. Else is in there. That's what I'm trying to figure out. They keep saying we know you're in here. <laughs> Who else is in there? Milwaukee police, if you're down here, announce yourself now. Good. Yeah. Rooms to the right. Uh oh. Oh, yep, yeah, there's a dead body down here. God, you can yeah. smell it. Uh, we're gonna need more squad. Fire, Seven to eight six. Yeah, we're gonna need more uh, squads here. There's gonna be a confirmed uh, PNB female in the basement. It looks PNB, pretty good. Yeah. Body PNB in the basement here. Can you get us a couple more squads? PNB. Probable murder, murdered, <laughs> murdered, murdered body. Hold on. <sighs> A6 standby for him. Wanna bring your light over here? Um, That's messed up though. Yeah. But I just don't want to. Uh, we're not gonna move the body, but it appears to be blood from the head region, so just W to that. Yes, Dad. Affirmative. Crazy.
The woman was later identified as Angela Lane. She appears to be clothed in loungewear with the top half of her body contained in a plastic basement sink. Mm. Officers clear the rest of the basement as they await for other officials to arrive mm, on scene. Mm, mm, mm. That's crazy. Just get his info. See if they got her info. All right. Has anybody made contact with the upper? Uh, no. I've been down here just so you know, blocking all this off. Let's let's make contact with the upper. Make sure nobody's injured or anything up there. Surprisingly, it appears that there are tenants in the upper part of the duplex. Mm. And they ain't hear nothing. They didn't hear nothing. Her baby daddy, a boyfriend, walked into our district and said that he shot her a oh. day and a half ago. Oh, well, then. why do people keep coming into districts like this? Well, well, They're making your job easier. I'll make sure numbers aren't. And then we obviously down. In the criminal complaint, Ellis provided a detailed account of the events that transpired that night. What did he say? He described engaging in. The defendant gave him a statement. He said that. A.L. Angela was his girlfriend and that two days ago she was at his house in his bedroom. The two were horsing around and she was on the floor. She jokingly said to him, F you ninja. And in response, he jokingly removed the pistol from his pocket and pointed it at her head with his finger on the trigger. She slapped at it and it went off, shooting her in the head. She took one breath and then went silent. Wow, that's uh, that's unfortunate, man. For real, that's unfortunate. We, I don't know why people like why do couples play around like that, man? Like, it's one, it you can't be playing around like that, uh. Male or female, because you can lose your life. Whether people playing around and joking, or you know, dude, or she might have a pistol or a weapon. You can't play around with certain people like that. I'm not for violence. Um, in this situation, it's just, it didn't even have to happen. Dude, clearly he emotional. Clearly he emotional and didn't know how to play around, but mm, both in the wrong, you know, but he ain't deserve to take a life. He ain't even have to pull no pistol out like she was a dude or whatever. She wasn't causing, you no know, threat. She was just saying words. She was just saying words, man. Now you threw your whole life away and you ended somebody else's life. All because of some words. All because of F you. And I'm pretty sure when you with your homeboys, I'm pretty sure y'all have similar conversations. There ain't no difference than when the girl when the girls are out and they be like, oh, I'm a bad B. That's my B. You know what I'm saying? Like, you let, you let your emotions get dictated by a female. So that shows... The maturity in this man, seriously, to the point where, I, oh, yeah, I'm getting that upset to pull out a pistol and I'm going to put it to this woman head. Playing around or not, you never do that. You never do no crazy stuff like that. That's That was ridiculous, man, for real. And granted, I'm, it's cool that he turned himself in, but yeah, damn man, you, you, yeah, you don't need to be out, bro. You need to get yourself together, get really rehabilitated, uh, cause there's some underlying issues that's going on there, man. You got to get that figured out, bro. But R.I.P. to the victim, yo, for real, man. R.I.P. to Angela Lane. Um, 
that's unfortunate, man. These honestly, these are cases that you don't even really hear about. You don't even hear about. You hear about the police shooting black people down or black on black crime, but this is one of those cases of of a domestic situation and like I didn't know nothing about this. Like y'all know I don't pre-watch my videos, so yeah horseplay with the victim during which he allegedly pointed a gun at her head as a joke finger on the trigger after she jokingly directed profanities at him according to ellis she slapped the weapon causing it to discharge and strike her in the head panicked and unsure of what to do ellis moved her from his bedroom to a living room chair noticing significant blood loss he then carried her to the basement leaning her upper body over a sink to prevent further blood from spilling onto the floor ellis proceeded to clean the blood throughout the house with a cleaning solution before sitting in the basement for hours smoking and contemplating on what to do eventually he left the house with the gun and disposed of the weapon the following day he contacted his sister who drove him to the police station where we began this video detectives noted that ellis did not attempt life-saving measures nor did he call for emergency medical right that's at any point and that's that that makes it look that makes it look bad within itself you tried to clean up the evidence you didn't even call 911 Like, you, you really didn't try to assist the problem, you know. You, you you thought about how you can get out of the situation, but you you couldn't. There's no coming back from this, Ellis. That's this not. The rest, Ellis faced one count of first-degree intentional murder with a modifier for use of a dangerous weapon. He entered a plea of not guilty days later. According to court documents, his bond was initially set to a quarter million dollars, but it was officially set to 75000 During his time in jail awaiting trial, he would never post bail. Of course, because most black people ain't got that kind of bread. Ain't nobody got no $75,000, let alone a quarter million. You crazy. You crazy think somebody got a quarter million dollars worth of, uh, of money just sitting around. And, psh, please. Please. You see his crib? He ain't got that kind of money. Most black folks ain't got a pot to piss in or a window to throw it out. We live in day to day. Paycheck to paycheck. Get it by any means. However we can get it, that's how we live it. We ain't got to like, we ain't got to like white folks, Arabs. We ain't got to like that. Majority of us do not have it like that. There's a handful of us that might, but majority of us do not have it like that. Then 43-year-old Ellis was found guilty via jury trial in April of 2023, over a year after confessing to the killing of 29-year-old Angela Lane and pleading not guilty. For this, he was sentenced to 33 years in prison with 10 years of extended probation. He was... Uh, you look at his picture, and that could just be my screen, but if you look at his... Okay... If you were standing there, it'd be his right eye, but on the screen, it's his left eye. You can see that streak. You can tell he's he's he upset, man. You can tell them tears was coming down his eyes. I can see it. So he was sentenced to 33 years in prison. days of jail. With 10 years of probation. So he'd be like 60-something when he, when he get out time because this is a class b felony and because the judge ordered ellis ineligible for certain programs that could reduce his sentence he will probably have to serve the entirety of his time oh yeah you ain't getting no uh no 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 day for day uh no 85 percent none of that and he probably got priors that's that's another reason why he will likely have to serve the entirety of his prison sentence yep and so he likely won't be released from prison until April of 2055 when he will be Damn. 75 years old. He then won't be released from probation until he is 85 years old. Mm. Additionally, the court ordered restitution in the amount of almost $2,000 to one individual and roughly an added $800 in court fines and fees. After Angela's death, local news captured a vigil held by family and friends of the victim. This is so saddening, it's, it's too much. I'm just so broken that this could happen to her. She didn't even have a life to live at 29 years old. She's always the one that's caring, loving, and got something for anybody. What I know is when she called out for help, nobody helped her. What I know is my auntie died crying. It's a lot of people out here that's gonna love you. A lot of people. 
We don't got to put up with this. We don't got to put up getting beat up on. We don't got to get put up getting shot at. At the end of the day, our black families out here are dying due to domestic violence, due to gun violence. We were also able to find some social media posts made in the days and weeks prior to Angela's death, a stark foreshadowing of the events that eventually became a reality. According to the Milwaukee Homicide Database, Angela was one of the 224 known persons to have been killed in Milwaukee wow. that year, the highest number of yearly homicides listed in the city in recent mm, history. Mm, mm. Interestingly, we also found that Ellis held no known criminal history in the state of Wisconsin. Currently, okay. Ellis's case is being processed. I was wrong. I was wrong. He ain't had no background. So, uh, yeah, a lot of us do, but all right by the Court of Appeals in an attempt to reverse the court's decision. The outcome of that decision is yet to be determined. Whether good or bad, everything... Alright, man. That was the video. Uh, once again, just... Just... just For those who got loved ones, man... Um, what I can say, just take care of your family. Take care of your family. Be good to your husband, your wife, your children. Do not play with guns. If you got a, a, a fire, a firearm is meant to defend your home. Don't, let's not play like that, man. Senseless killing. You don't, now you don't took one life and lost the rest of your life. It's not worth it, ladies and gentlemen. It's not. Us black families, we got to stick together. We done already been through enough hell. Why keep putting ourselves through it? All right. So with that, I'm about to sign off. Y'all take care. Y'all be good to yourself. Love yourselves, man. Peace out.